This video tutorial is just going to be a very short one to show you how to adjust the email notification settings in Adapted Mind. Now, um, this has come up a few times already, and I think it's going to be necessary to adjust these because we are using two different classes of students with one account. So, you know, this account is third grade account, but it's only under one teacher's name. And so all third graders are in that same account. So she's going to receive email notifications on her class but also on the other third grade class as well. And she would have to forward those to the other third grade teacher. There's no way in Adapted Mind to separate those out or to uh, include another email address. Um, I have contacted them and told them that I feel like this is a feature that they should consider adding. I'd also like to be able to add parent email addresses so the parents can receive those updates as well. But as of right now, we can only have one email address associated with each um, account. and since it has so many different students in it, that's we're just going to have to work with what we have at the moment. So what I think you're going to want to do is come up here to, after you log in, come up here to the My Account button. And when we click that, um, we're going to go down, I'm going to, we're going to come back to the View Roster area here in just a minute, but we're going to come down here to the Email Settings click here to change your email preferences and probably what you're going to want to do is just go down here to the all and put don't receive any messages from adapted mind and that will turn off everything and then you can save your email preferences however there is a newsletter feature so you might want to leave this one on maybe turn off um, the progress emails and the promotions, you're probably not going to want that, but maybe leave on the newsletter and the periodic updates. Um, and then when this teacher receives those, that's one thing to forward every once in a while to the other teacher as opposed to, you know, 40 reports every day that are coming through in your email. So you can adjust these settings as you would like them and don't forget to click the save email preferences button when you are done with that. Now I'm going to go back to the My Account area because if you turn off those email um, notifications, then how are you going to know how your students are progressing? What you want to do is go to the end of the name of students, list of students, and click on View Roster. And on this screen is where you're going to do all of your checking on the students. You can go into an individual student and view their progress, their prizes, and their recent work. You can even log in as that student. You can see how many times, how many problems that student has completed, their last login, how many days they've worked um, in the last month, and all together. So you have all that information available. Obviously, both teachers, both third grade teachers in this case, would come to the same screen um, and just take a look at their own students from there. If you have any questions, please be sure to post them in the Adapted Mind discussion on my big campus.